All right, we are following some breaking news right now here in our newsroom. According to Israeli officials, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has accepted the ceasefire proposal put forth by President Biden. However, an aide to Netanyahu reiterates that Israel's goals have not changed, adding the plan is flawed and needs more work. Joining me now on the phone is former U.S. Air Force Assistant Vice Chief of Staff and News Nation Senior National Security Contributor Lieutenant Richard Newton. General, thanks again for hopping on the phone with us to sort of break down this breaking news as we're getting it. Help us understand what this plan is that Netanyahu has accepted. What happens next? Yeah, first and foremost, uh, by the way, it's good, good to be with you again this afternoon. It is indeed uh, anticipating some late breaking news coming out of uh, uh, certainly Cairo, but it appears that, uh, according to John Kirby, who is on uh, the news talk shows this morning, he's an National Security Council spokesman, that there could be, they have, the United States has every expectation that Israel will indeed uh, accept a ceasefire proposal. That begins the six-week uh, cessation, if you will, of hostilities in Gaza. You and I talked about that yesterday. Right. Uh, it appears now the ball is, the court, is, you know, the ball is now in, in Hamas's court uh, to accept that. Uh, what would be an initial six-week pause in the fighting. Uh, and then the two sides would sit down and meet for to obviously negotiate over what President Biden has put forth in, in phase two and phase three. But nonetheless, it appears that that's what's happening. What's happening, actually, there's, a, there's, there's twin diplomatic tracks now going in Gaza. One is first... Uh, putting a ceasefire on the table and following through with that with that six-week ceasefire. Uh, the second one also uh, that was breaking this weekend, uh, as I understand, is reopen a route for aid into, uh, into Gaza that has been closed uh, since uh, between the Gazan border and Egypt um, recently. So they're, they're looking, it's a, it's a twin-track diplomatic effort right now. Yeah, I want to uh, break down once again if the control room, if we can pop back up that three-phase plan that the general was just talking about. Again, we, we mentioned this yesterday. There's three different phases here uh, from the White House. Phase one, a six-week ceasefire. Phase two, a permanent ceasefire, release of hostages, and then withdrawal from Gaza. Uh, phase three, major reconstruction of Gaza. And general, as you mentioned, the ball right now in Hamas's court, is there a world where they don't accept this? What happens from there? Well, again, this is uh, very difficult, and, and uh, just to get into phase one, an agreement would be significant of, of, of itself. Uh, you know, Israel has, has maintained, and Prime Minister Netanyahu has maintained, that uh, the, their effort uh, is to release the hostages, have a ceasefire, yes, for six weeks, but their aim is to destroy Hamas. Now, meanwhile, Hamas has said that uh, they've, they've made statements that they view President Biden's uh, call for this permanent ceasefire. They, they, they salute that. They want to deal in that regard. Uh, but I believe that any proposal uh, on the table whereby Israeli forces are to have to have a full withdrawal and therefore a survival of Hamas is a non-starter for Israel. Meanwhile, Hamas, accepting nothing short of that, uh, will not deal. So it, it's it's very uh, very difficult and very complicated right now. And I believe that's where, since you and I talked yesterday afternoon, what could be part of a breakthrough is that they not agree necessarily on all three phases that the U.S. or President mm -hmm. Biden has put forth, but maybe just that first phase. Uh, where they can agree, and then they would go on to deliberations in terms of what a the second and third phase, which would entail all hostages, more Palestinian uh, prisoners being released, and therefore, what does the governance of Gaza look like, say after you know if there was supposedly a permanent uh, ceasefire? Netanyahu's aide, um, as I mentioned, has said that, you know, Israel's goals have not changed, adding that the plan is flawed and needs more work. Have you heard anything about the changes that Israel would like to see to these plans? Or really, like you said, how we got from yesterday talking about this, and it seemed as if Netanyahu wasn't going to budge, um, to today, this breaking news that Israel has accepted the, uh, the Biden proposal. Israel has, and, and, and the Biden proposal is infused with uh, a lot of the main points that Israel has purported and, and, and trying to move forward with in any negotiated deal with Hamas. So I think, this, as, as John Kirby said, the ball's in Hamas's court, yeah. as we said, for them to accept that phase one.
Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.